Barry Luters believes the impact of Fidel O'Rourke highlights the competition for places which is driving Liverpool under-18s on in pursuit of a dream treble. The Young Reds face a massive week, starting with Wednesday night's FA Youth Cup quarter-final with Berry at Gig Lane, 7 p.m. kickoff. On Saturday they have a potential under-18 Premier League title decider with Derby County, and then the next Tuesday there's a trip to Dinamo Zagreb in the last 16 of the UE for Youth League. Why Liverpool's academy is set for a transfer policy shift it will test the depth of Luter's squad, but the signs are promising. The manager made seven changes for last weekend's visit of Blackburn, and was rewarded with an emphatic 7-2 victory which kept them at the summit. Orog, the 17-year-old striker from Wavertree, comma, has found himself playing second fiddle to the prolific double act of Paul Glatzel and Bobby Duncan for most of this season. But with 24 goal frontman Glatzel rested, Orok was handed both a start and the captain's armband against Blackburn and responded with a classy double. The boys know how much competition for places there is, Luters told the Echo. You have to perform well to be in with a chance of keeping the shirt. Plus, with the schedule we've got, we can't just flog the same lads over this period. We have to take boys out at certain times and use the fact that we've got a very good squad. It's an exciting time. They've put themselves in a position where there's something riding on every game. Fidel came in against Blackburn and did ever so well. His first goal was fantastic, and the second was a real striker's goal with the tap in. Giving them the armband can be part of their development when you are trying to get a bit more out of them. He epitomizes what a captain needs to do. You can hear him communicating, he's vocal, he leads, he's aggressive, he closes down, he drives the team on with his pressing, he tracks back, and he can play, so he's got the respect of the dressing room too. For a young first year, to be able to do that shows what the kid is all about. He has earned that with his development both as a player and as a person. Close quote video loading video unavailable click to play tap to play the video will start in 8 cancel play now with Glatzel set to return alongside Duncan, who also boasts 24 goals this season, or or could find himself back on the bench against Berry. There should also be recalls for the likes of Reeves Williams and Leeton Clarkson. Having knocked out Portsmouth. Accrington and Wigan, the draw has opened up for Liverpool, who are chasing the club's first FA Youth Cup triumph since 2007. Get past Berry, and only Watford will stand between them, and a final showdown with either Manchester City or West Brom. Berry reached the stage by getting past North Shields, Fleetwood, Stevenage. Peter Bra and Preston. Luters insists his youngsters won't fall into the trap of taking the Shakers lightly. I'm expecting a tough, physical game, he said. Every round so far has been a battle. Portsmouth came back to 2-2 against us, Accrington could have gone ahead in the first minute, and we had to work hard to see off Wigan. We haven't sailed through, it's been a difficult ride, and we need to be ready for more of the same. 
the mince it has to be that this is our toughest game of the season. We want to play attacking football but the boys have also shown that, when we need to we can roll our sleeves up and dig in. We're still competing in three competitions and I know the boys will give it everything. Close quote.